Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We all know saving your tax refund is obviously a better idea than blowing it on some fancy Louboutins. Mm. Mm. But do you really know what you should do with your tax returns? Well, we're in luck and you're in luck because we have a highly sought after tax strategist and certified CPA here to help us out. Certified public accountant here to help us out. Please welcome Michelle Valbrun. I said it right. Valbrun, yes. <laughs> also known as Money Making Mitch. Yay. <laughs> Right. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you. But before we get into all these tips, mm -hmm. where did that come from, Money Making Mitch? Where did it come from? Money Making Mitch is from a movie that I love called Paint and Full with Mackay Pfeiffer. And mm -hmm. he was uh, he was in that movie and he was just a natural born hustler. He yeah. just was all about getting money, but he was also a great family man. He really loved his son. And I just, growing up, because I was always hustling, I was, you know, I was selling candy, I was selling CDs, I was selling t-shirts, people would call me Money Making, making Mitch, Mitch. Right. and it just okay. stuck. So that's why I go by Money Making Mitch. I love it. Well, I, love I, it. I guarantee you, everybody has watched Paid in Full, and so <laughs> your name will never be forgotten. How about, How about that? How about of it? course, with saving the money, too, so, mm -hmm. you know. But I want to talk to you. You said you have five ways of what to do and how to spend your tax refund. Mm -hmm. right. You say priority is to pay yourself first before paying bills, buying groceries, planning a getaway. That's very interesting because I wouldn't think that you would say that. Tell us why. Absolutely. So when it comes to any kind of income, whether it's a check, whether it's a bonus, or whether it's that tax refund, I always recommend that you pay yourself first. And what that means is you want to put away at least 10% to 20% of that for your savings. And you could do that for a couple of reasons. Number one, you want to build an emergency savings. So what that allows you to do is you have three to six months of savings to help you pay for unexpected events, whether that's a leaky roof, uh, a tire that's missing, a family emergency, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that's in place. And then also, just to continue to build wealth for yourself, you always want to build that long-term savings just in case you want to invest or put that money away for something. Okay, so let's get into the next tip. You say that you have to pay off your debt, but there's a lot of different debt, as you, you know, you got, you got loans, mm -hmm. you got credit card debt. You got medical bills. You got right. all of that. So break that down for us. Yeah, so really, with that tax refund, you want to start paying off some debt. And what I mean by that is, the average consumer debt in the United States is over 38,000. Mm -hmm. And then you know the student loan debt is up to 1.6 trillion in the United States. Mm. So really, you want to at least build the habit of at least getting yourself, yourself in order to start paying off that debt. So one thing I recommend is, maybe there's a small credit card that you may have, right? That's really been bothering you and slowing you down and really in the back of your head, maybe it's $500. So maybe you can just knock that out and at least that'll be one credit card that you can knock out. Or maybe you have that medical bill that's been lingering around that you haven't paid off. Maybe you could just use some of that money to start paying that off. But ultimately the end goal is for you to get yourself in a position where you have a credit score to where when you need to get a home or get a vehicle or get an asset, you at least have that credit score available for you to be able to do that and get the best interest rates possible. Nice, Ooh. nice. Well, what about those who have that entrepreneurial spirit? Mm -hmm. Is it smart for them to start a business venture? Absolutely, so what I recommend mm -hmm. too, what you do with your tax refund is start a small business. And a lot of people who are not business owners currently, you may be working a full-time job. It's always, I always recommend to start a side hustle, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't need to, you don't need, need to necessarily create this full-on business. And the way you do that, and the reason why you want to do that is a couple of reasons. So number one, by being a business owner, it opens up a ton of tax benefits and strategies for you. So, mm -hmm. I mean, as, as, a, as a, just a W-2 worker, there's a few things that you can do. As a business owner, it's almost unlimited of, of what you can do with your taxes. And really, the tax code is geared towards entrepreneurs and business owners. And you don't, you don't only want to do it just to save money on taxes. You also want to do it to create wealth and legacy for your family as well. That's really a good idea to take the, the money that you receive back your income tax check and create a business. I mean, a lot of people are claiming a lot of children anyway. Right. So they're getting a lot of money back. <laughs> That's facts. And I'll say to that point, right, and to that point too, as a business owner, you can do things with your children, like hire your children to create more deductions for you. So that's another opportunity as a business owner. You can't do that as a, a W-2 worker or employee. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I can put Bailey to work. She's you 13. Can. She's 13? Yes. Perfect, yeah, so what you can do, yeah. So if you, at, with, with your business, what you could do is um, put your child to work, so you can, you, pretty much what you could do is up to the standard deduction amount, mm -hmm. and they don't have to pay taxes on that. So for, the, for, um, 
for the upcoming tax year, it's going to be twelve thousand four hundred, and then you can put her on on payroll. And there's a specific way to do yeah. that, but that you, yeah, absolutely, and that could be a way for you to save some money on taxes. Yeah. 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 Well, money making, Mitch. You also say invest in yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, tell, tell us a little bit about investing in ourselves. Yes. Yeah, so investing in yourself, I believe one of the greatest investments that you can make is in yourself because the information that you learn and what you do, whether it's through a conference or a seminar or just taking an online program or investing in a, in, a, in a CPA that can help you save money during the tax year so where when it comes tax time you don't have any surprises is, is pretty much information and it's really going to help you take your life to the next level. I mean, the things that I've learned 10, 20 years ago, I'm still continuing to use to this day to, to increase my wealth and yes. build my legacy. Yes. Okay, well, that's, that's good. That's yeah. real good. You have a book. I do with, have with helpful tips. Tell everybody about that before we wrap up. Yeah, so my book, Prolific Profit, How Successful Businesses Maximize Profits and Dominate the Market, uh, is, is a book that I wrote, and it was really inspired, thank That's you, by great. the late and great Nipsey Hussle. Yes. And, and, and in that book, I share, I break down my, my CPA success system. So the C stands for clarity. So helping you understand where you're at to where you're trying to go. P is for power, so giving you the knowledge, the information, the tools that you need to really maximize your profits and dominate the market. And last but not least, that accountability piece, which is absolutely critical. Critical, working with a professional that's going to take you, your life, your business to the next level. Wow. Did you bring us a copy? Yeah, I, I, of course I got you. Yes, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You better know how to handle it. Yeah. Well, money making me excited to do me, so man. much. Appreciate right. job. Thank uh, you. For more of uh, Mitch's accounting expertise, go to valrengroup.com.